What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bria K. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. If you've been here before, what's up? Welcome back. As y'all can see by that title today, I am just going to do a quick update or whatever about what life is like about with these day naps, as well as giving it just like another go because I genuinely do believe the Holy app, which is like the last app that I tried out is like just it's it's real it's the real deal right uh so quick update the other apps that I was trying I am not on at all I just feel like to me it was a waste of time um it wasn't as fruitful and I just didn't feel like giving it any more of my energy it's holy app I was like you know what let me run it back okay and so your girl did a bit of traveling earlier this year I went to Dallas and while I was there for a few days just maxing and relaxing I was like, you know what? Let me hop on the Holy app and see what it's talking about in Texas. And y'all, everything is indeed bigger in Texas. Let me tell you, like, so I'm from the Midwest and it was like, when I had the app here, it was, it was people rolling in or whatever, but it was a lot slower. Baby, when I went to Texas and that wasn't even just, you know, guys reaching out. There were so many women who lived in Texas who were looking for like friendship, like genuinely. I was just like, yo, like, so keep that in mind that like where you live definitely matters as far as like what you'll catch or what catches you or whatever comes your way. The region you live in definitely matters. Uh, the cool thing about the app is that you can change it based on uh, whatever you want. So let's say you really do live in Wisconsin, but you might want, you want you a Florida boy. Like you want you a guy who lives down South or something like that. You can change your distance to that region or say like you're open to dating up to 10,000 miles away right so I think that's cool so nothing really stuck from Texas but I did start out with some really cool conversations um so I have some contacts when I go back to Texas which is cool but when I got back home when I got back home y'all I had to be honest with myself I said self self said yes it says are you really ready to love like would you really be ready to date because if so you're out of practice like y'all gotta understand i have these cars roll it in y'all have to understand i have been single for six years okay and i'm talking actually single like not okay <laughs> okay yeah so i was like you know what i might want to brush up all my actual skills and and not even on no like dating stuff but just like having casual conversation right so I redownloaded the app and I was like, you know what? I don't feel like I gave it a fair chance. I don't feel like I was as open to different individuals as I should be. I've, I've kind of safeguarded myself. Like, you know, just count anybody and everybody out. And so this time on the app, we are going all in. All right. These are the guys here that reached out to me through either waved at me or they messaged me. So I just think this guy looks like a movie star. Quite honestly, he belongs in a movie. I'm just saying. If he's not already, he's six foot three. He looks like a he he a hey, he has the look. So I don't know. I'm just like I said, I'm going all in. And okay, he rate he weighs me. He wants to connect. All right, he in Texas. Um, you know what? Let's go for it. We're connected. That means he waved at me. I waved at him back. All right, let's see who else. Come on. Y'all better get into this new Bria. Okay, y'all better get into it. Okay, who is this? Sam, he said, hey. All right. He's in Michigan. Okay, he likes nature. He likes sports. Staying active. He, has, he look like a cool guy. Um, You know what? For the sake of doing whatever I'm doing right now, I'm just going to go ahead and wave back. And we're now connected. Okay, y'all see what I'm on today? Y'all see what I'm on? So also, I'm going to go outside my preferences. So y'all see this, this means that they, this app thinks that this is not what I really want, but they're going to put it in front of me just because. So this is outside of my preferences is what this section is called. And guess what, baby? We're going outside of my preferences. Your girl is 30 years young. Um, we got to make some shake. So <laughs> right now I'm just skimming the outside pref outside my preferences and I'm going to just be open. Like I said, I just got to be open. Your girl was a little <laughs> tight brained or whatever, but we're over that. So I'm just going to be, let's see, grew up in the church. 
He waved at me. Let's go for it, baby. Let's go. I feel like I'm at the Super Bowl. Let's go, okay? Um, <laughs> so this is why I like the um, Outside of My Preferences tab because I think they have collected that I might only like black men. However, I'm interested in brown individuals, right? That is not limited to one. So this Outside My Preference, his name is Angel, okay? Um, and he would like to connect. So to me... I'm going to go for it. Thanks, Holy App. I'm not discriminatory at all. So for the sake of all that is saking, we're just going to go ahead and wave back at you, Angel. Um, so, and we connected. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know the drill. Okay. Um, I actually love that they show me stuff outside my preferences because these are people that I probably wouldn't go for. This young man is 22, so we're not going to go there. Okay. Um, he's 25, five years younger. We got to be open, baby. Um, okay. He want to build a friendship, a Christian group chat, Bible study, prayer. Yes, community. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not even on here just to date. Like, if y'all just want to chat it up and you Christian, let's get it. Okay. Okay. So I was like, uh, 26, a little young, but you know what? Okay, Devontae, you know, he spends his Sundays at church. Let's go. Let's go. He's younger than me. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. That's what I'm on today. <laughs> this feels crazy, but it's actually liberating. I got to be honest. This is super liberating. Um, Let's see. Okay. We got him from Louisiana. I love the South in general. I love the food especially. So you from Louisiana. Jesus is his source to persevere, dedicating every ounce of his existence intentionally for his glory. Come on, wordsmith. He picks me up, washes me, creates a clean heart. Okay. Okay. Business psychology. Yes. Mental health. Nice. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to say all my comments out loud because... Y'all don't need to know everything that I'm thinking, but okay. Okay, Zavonze. Okay, sir, I see you. 28, hey, younger than me, we don't care. Bam, we are connected. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. Again, this is outside my pre preferences. Oh, what he say? He says, oh. He writes, hey, girl, you are too beautiful. I like you. Let's link up. I like you. Let's link ching ching up. I like the directness. I like the directness. Okay, he's in Missouri. Let's see. All right, y'all. So since I just went for it and said yes to a lot of people, that opened me up to a lot of conversations. And the men on here, Christian men, like I said, they know what they want for the most part. So if they like you or wave at you, they're going to come for you. Like they're going to pursue you, which I love. Start responding back to everybody. So he says, hey, girl, you too beautiful. I like you. Let's link up. I'm going to say... Hey, uh, thank you. I appreciate that because I do. I like compliments. I don't hear them every day. Your girl single. What can I say? How are, hmm, how are, you? let's just keep it short and simple. Bam. Okay. Now, this other guy says, hey, how are you? I'm going to say, hey, I'm doing fine. No, hey, I have no complaints, okay? I really don't. God is good. It's a beautiful day. It really is. Y'all see that sun? Y'all, I'll try to get the views for y'all, but this, this car just parked here. Anyways, um, all right, we going for it. Hey, he says, how you doing today? What's good, Sam? Hey, again, I have no complaints. <laughs> now I'm using the same cut, copy, and paste message for everybody. The weather's beautiful in my city. <laughs> I wonder if this what guys do. And I'm taking a little break from work. How are you? I need to be more creative. I can't send the same things to everybody. That's so sick. Okay. Um, okay, this woman, this the, one of the people from Texas, one of the girls from Texas, she was just telling me about her experience in Dallas. And so we had a really good conversation because she actually moved there on faith. And I was just like, yo, I've heard of people doing that and their life turns out amazing. So um, we got some good time to connect, but... Again, this is just general Christian connections. Like, th and I think it's better this way to go in casually because it's like if you go in looking for love and all this stuff, 
it, you make it harder on yourself and you make you just kind of go in with this huge list or just wall up where I feel like I'm just chatting with men and women on a Christian site. I have a better chance of finding a man or a man finding me genuinely without the fluff. So, okay, so we got some responses, y'all. I'm showing y'all everything this time. Y'all better like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so he says he's doing just fine. The weather is nice where he's at too. Okay, um, he about to head to work. So I'm gonna just say make the most of today. Man, that sounds like I'm a wife. <laughs> well, I am. <laughs> you better be inspirational and encouraging, girl. You better encourage, uplift. Yes, yes, yes. But you know what? I want to get something about him. So I'm going to go back to his profile and see if there's anything I could pull for the sake of this conversation. Um, that's great to hear. It really is. Love that. How nice that you can go in yeah because it's the afternoon y'all it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon how nice that you can get your work day started your work day starts a bit later because your girl gotta be up early and i don't like that <laughs> um how nice that your work day starts a bit later i love not getting up that early oh that sounds a little lazy hold on <laughs> Hopefully you had hopefully you had a chance to do something you enjoy before going in to work. That's it. And before going in. Right? Okay. Bam. We knocking them down like bowling pins. Okay. Um, so next. Who else we got? Who's next? Look. All right. Oh, y'all see it. I ain't even gotta say too much. Shh, be quiet. All right. So where do we start is the question. So this guy, he's Hey, good afternoon. How's your day? Um, hold on. He said, hello, good afternoon. I said, hey, good afternoon. How's your day? Um, it's going well in yours. He says he has a question for me. Okay. I love... You better keep the conversation going. You better keep the conversation going, boy. I'm curious to what he's about to ask. It's pretty bright, actually. No complaints at all. Y'all don't get me in trouble. I'm not running game. I just don't know what else to say. So I'm going to say no complaints at all. What's your question? Don't be making me all anxious. Dang, he read it instantly. <laughs> okay. Uh, who are we going to next? Uh, let's go back to him. He says he worked second shift and he did a workout and he made lunch and took a nap. Boy, you better be productive. That's what I'm talking about. That's husband's material right there. He didn't just sleep until he clocked in. Sounds like a productive day. I'm on my lunch break now. Um, I don't know. He's going to go to work. So have a good shift and perhaps, okay, follow up. Perhaps we can catch up after. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. That's that follow up. Y'all see, y'all, hey. Okay. Said, um, was outside my preferences. So let's see how this goes. Oh, this is the one who said, hey, girl, you too beautiful. Let's link, clink, clink. Um, he said he's doing great. Which part of Missouri am I living in? It looks like he's in Missouri as well. I'm in St. Louis. What about you? All right. Back to back. Back to back. Y'all see what's going on. All right. We got another one. Um, another one. All right, y'all. They just popping in. Okay. He say, hey, he say, hey, how you doing? I like it. Short, sweet, whatever. Um, you know what? Hey. Y'all remember that? My classic wave. Switched it up. I switched it up on them. Okay. I'm doing pretty good. The weather is beautiful. Ting. In my city. Y'all gonna be mad at me. So I have no complaints. Ah! How are you? I really have no game. I'm not trying to run game. That's that's my greeting for today, y'all. I'm sorry if you heard it 10 times. It's just what it is what it is. Okay. All right. So this is the guy who was at work. Look, y'all got to keep up with me. Y'all got to keep up with me. Okay. So this is the guy who's about to go to work, who had a productive day. He says, yes, I've been productive so far today and still on it. Toilet break real quick. Does he mean he's talking to me while he's doing the number two? Because that looks crazy. Like, granted, if he... It's just certain stuff. I wouldn't disclose. Like, look, I know everybody takes their phone to the bathroom, but like, if you're just trying to get to know a young Tenderoni or something like that, you might not want to disclose that you're on the bathroom toilet, okay? 
Um, and then the next line you asked you what's for lunch. That's all right. That's all right, babe. That's do you. What's for lunch? And sure, we can catch up later. I guess you're almost done with your day while mine's still busy rolling. Okay, so I see him trying to keep this conversation going. I guess he tried to be vulnerable and let me know he's using the bathroom. You know, so I see some different elements coming through. I'm going to roll with it. We're not going to count them out. That's good. Okay, let me hop into my encourager roll real quick. That's good. Um, For lunch, I actually had something bomb, y'all. I made... um. A plant-based version of meat out of mushrooms, black beans, and pecans, fire, uh, that I've been enjoying this past, that I've been enjoying these past few weeks and really have, along with some leftover veggies. I'm just keep it real. We being vulnerable. He on the toilet. I mean leftover veggies. It, you know, it's just cool to be yourself, okay? Um, fruit and nuts. Be hot in this cardigan, but I'm not gonna take it off. Here, so I'm contemplating going to the park to work out instead. Just to kind of give him a little update, a little insight, you know. Thank God you're moving because that just was unsightly. I parked here so y'all could get a nice glimpse of the willow trees or whatever the trees that are blooming for the spring. And he just parks right there. So hopefully that gives y'all a more refreshing view. All right. There's actually a big pond behind me. I might film outside one day, but y'all know historically we were in the car with it for these videos. So we just going to keep it on brand, right? Okay. So he didn't respond to my paragraphs, but he said, hey. I don't know. I heard that men don't like really read paragraphs. They can respond to like one thing you say. So maybe that was too much text for him. So he just he just said, bump it. I'm going to start a whole new conversation. This man said, hey, as if I didn't just have an essay up there. It's all good. It's all good. We ain't, hey, don't do that. Do no judgment here. Okay. Oh, this guy who asked me a question. He's back. He says, oh, great. I'm glad your day is going well. Thanks. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know if you're always so beautiful every day or there's a hypothetical day in the week you choose to be like the rest of us. Blush. Glasses. Okay, he threw the little emojis in there or whatever. <laughs> uh, so that's his question. I thought he had a real question, y'all, but that was cute, I guess, sir. Like, I wonder, does he use that line on everybody else the way I've been using my lines on everybody else? Don't fall for it, girl. How'd you come up with that gotta make them feel like they did some and if he ever come across this video i really did like the wine but i feel like that's not your first time using it how'd you come up with that one <laughs> wink wink nudge nudge lol we put a thank you in there because we do appreciate compliments for the record gotta keep it humble boo i'm just me every day of the week there's nothing special about me honestly i'm just me I tell everybody, I'm just me. All right, y'all. So listen, on here, I am, I'm not telling y'all, but I am going for people I normally wouldn't go for. Um, and you can insert your own whatever, like as far as looks, height, region. So I'm not saying on their profile. Usually I'll be like, nah, but today we're saying yes. So just keep that in mind when I'm talking to these individuals. Know that everybody on here is not my preference, my type, my number one. You know what I'm saying? But we got to break out that box, okay? It's really hot. Um, okay. Personal trainer, six foot four. No kids. Da 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 da. Sure. And if he waved at me. All right. So y'all know what that means. He reached out first. Um, let's see. Let's see. And we got a couple of responses, you know. All right. So the guy who asked that little hypothetical question, he says, sincerely. When I asked him how he came up with it, he says, Sincerely speaking, I just say what's on my mind. After digesting and looking at your pictures for a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, fair point. I'm just stating my observations. That just made me smile. I hope you had a splendid day today. You know what, sir? I did. I'm having a splendid day. I like a little different vocabulary or whatever. Does that help the cause? No. Okay. A, yeah, let's just throw a left ball, curve ball, whatever they call. What's a random fact about you that uh huh people wouldn't ordinarily know? 
just by talking to you. Get a little thought-provoking question in there, you know, keep the keep the conversation spicy. PG thir- PG spicy. Um where are we going next? Oh, he says that he say something wrong. No, I just don't be like I take more than a few seconds to respond. I just do. I just do. And we're back to the random facts guy, okay? So I asked him a random fact about himself. He says So I asked him a random fact about himself. He says It's good to know. Hmm, I guess people don't know. I sing great until I show myself. I can relate cuz your girl can blow. Um what about you? Any random facts about you that ain't obvious to the naked eyes and also because i'm very shy you wouldn't you would know how well i make jokes until i'm free around you okay so he kind of like an introvert but man of many hidden talents he's funny he can sing so what's something about me that's not apparent to the naked eye um surprisingly i'm i'm pretty similar surprisingly mine is pretty similar I can blow. I can truly sing, but I don't do it in front of people. Um, I don't want to jock his fact, though, because I don't like, oh, we just alike. Yeah. You know, so um, let's try. So I understand that because I do. I grew up very shy as well. Um, surprisingly, that was going to be my random fact. Nope. I love to sing. There we go. I love to sing and I think and think I can blow, but I don't really do it around others. What else did he say? Uh-huh. For the sake of us not having the same random fact, I'll say another thing that people may not know about your girl is um, I love creating and have the ability to paint, sing, write, dance. I do it all, baby. But it's not me. It's the God in me, right? Made in my father's image. Ph- photography, all that good stuff. So... Little fun fact about your girl. Another thing about this app, y'all, is I was talking to the creator of the app, and they actually just added a new section, which is really cool, especially for, ouch, especially for inexperienced daters such as your, such as your girl. Um, they have a like a kind of tips and best practices feature on the app to help to help you with your dating, right? Um, so they give you like tips on connecting. Uh, there also is a section for wisdom and advice for online dating. So they have like video tutorials and everything. I guess they knew that the Christians, we need a little help, all right? We ain't doing things the way the world is doing it, so we need a little help, okay? Um, what else? There are some really cool tips in here. So tips on after you've connected, how to move forward with your match, and... Um, they give you examples, right? Safety tips, how to start the conversation, how to check in if you feel ghosted. This is major because I be ghosting and I be feeling ghosted. So she gives like a tutorial, basically saying like sometimes somebody really didn't even ghost you. They just got busy with life, which happens to me. <laughs> um, but overall, y'all, the Holy app is going to stay on my phone for a while. I'm not going to lie. I would not steer y'all wrong. I truly believe in it. I love it is dope um and as y'all can see i'm taking it a little bit more serious so i can give y'all like more realistic updates whereas back then i think i was i really still don't think i was that open to online dating but now i'm at a place where like there's no harm in connecting with other people in the world digitally i do it on social media anyway i'm kind of doing it with y'all right now so it's just like why well, limit myself okay so i'm thinking outside of the box Imagine that box just got destroyed. And I will share updates with y'all. Like if any of these makes it out the DM, like what that looks like. But um, let me know if y'all have any questions. I know y'all were asking for update, 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 updates on the apps. This is your update. I am still on the Holy Dating app. I'm giving it a fair chance in real life. And um, 
we'll see what comes about we'll see what comes about we'll see what comes about all right y'all stay tuned if you have not already done so please give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so all right because your girl is cranking them out your girl is doing the thing all right and your girl is being extremely vulnerable and sharing y'all with uh sharing with y'all these little details of her real life all right so go ahead and give me that big thumbs up subscribe turn your post notifications on if you have not already done so and i'll meet you down here in the comments because i know y'all got something to say y'all always got something to say but i love it so i'll talk to y'all soon all right bye guys not bye guys bye guys love y'all